Okay, King's Quest is back. Um, I picked up all the items again. Shame. It looked like the loot oh. cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. And I was doing my, uh, my congrats to everyone. I forgot to thank Unreal Technology. They're they're great too. Can't forget about Unreal Technology. They made a game that David will play hopefully soon. He bought it. And I'm making a character pool for him. So check out his video. Hopefully coming out soon. And Unreal Technology is like the main of that. Um, so I won't say too much because he's doing that. Um, hope you check it out. Let's talk to you. Hey there. Sorry about earlier. Things got a little weird. Hmm. Apology accepted. I'm Graham, by the way. As in King Graham of Daventry. As in King Graham the... Brave. Just the Brave. Time. Brave, huh? Mm. Nice to meet you, Graham. I'm V. As in Princess V of Eastern Kalima. Eastern is Kalima v versus Western something? Kalima. Uh, yes, it is. Yep. So, um... I should also apologize for forgetting my adventuring rope. I guess nothing was planned in my proposal. Adventuring rope? Oh, that was a bit of a lark. Rope wouldn't matter much anyway. Uh, it, it wouldn't? <laughs> Don't you think if there was any way of escaping, we would have done it by now? No, You're we're right. all bound to this tower by some outdated wizard spell. You know, one that needs some antiquated ideal of love to break it. I see. Oh, I knew so we can't leave until I have money. Forty queens to hold court. The importance of a good first impression. I would have to choose my next words carefully. So. How do you think this is going? So. Change the questions. How do you think this is going so far? Uh, so what is going how far? Did you really just ask that? <laughs> that didn't go so well. No matter. I try it again. Right. Let me try this again. How's your family like? What's your family like? Sibling challenged, but happily an only child. Only child. My dad and I are very close. He taught me everything I know and was never afraid to take some time off the throne to play a game of wits or strategy ship with me. What about you? Strategy ship What's that's called battleship. Like? My sisters and I are animal people. We've got two pet jinxes, a circus of weevils, werehogs, and a miniature chimera. Uh, well, she grew up wealthy, so... Just ask. Eastern Kalima is pretty well off. What was it like growing up with all that money? Okay, she didn't like that. I think it's best to get back to cleaning now. Okay, I failed that. Do you have any ideas on how to grab that vase? I'm sure a clever fellow like you can figure it out. I read that at least three times a year. Huh. Could you put it back over there? To bet it's saved. I completely messed that up. You said it over here. Or by the skull. There we go. Appreciate it. Okay. You're probably the take home because you enjoy. My dad and I used to play this game for hours. It goes on that shelf. Here? No, where is there we go? Appreciate it. Nunchucks. Some sort of nunchuck made of bone. At least it was a self sustainable business model. <laughs> yeah. Do you use this? You're not fooled. <laughs> What can I say? As an only child, I was in constant need to keep myself entertained. Yep. Yeah. 
appreciate it. Maybe I can grab it with this. We can put the other stuff back later. Wow, not too shabby. Excellent work, Graham. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm picking it's Hagatha. my wife. You better hide. Who? Oh. Damn that soggy woman. Won't even speak to her. V, that's not very nice. Might not be nice, but it's true. You've never been one to give the time of day to people you don't like. Seriously, she looks like a melted marshmallow. Everything chip chop up here. Ah, <laughs> oh, how are my delicate little flowers? We are splendid, Hagatha. Thank you. Uh, looks like you lovelies missed a spot. What was that? Uh, uh, nothing. That's right, dearie. A good princess should keep her thoughts on the inside. <laughs> Just like we practiced. Well, I'm hiding. She's probably gonna see my cape. Oh. Out of yep. place. Do something! Anything! Um aftershock. I should probably move. That's a bad idea. To the right! To the right oh, we go. Oh sweetie. We'll need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I probably shouldn't walk oh, in front of them. I've been working on my sleep giggles too. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Looks like my god needs to be weeded. Zards, this part. Yeah, I walked too fast. Take two. That's right, dearie. A good. <laughs> There we go. Oh, sweetie. We'll need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I've been working on my sleep giggles too. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where was There we go. Oh, yes. That smell. We're over there. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Agatha, would you like no. to interrupt? It's rude. Whatever you say. Slimy cucumber. Yeah, I agree with you. Join the party. Yep. Per princess? Long flowing gown. Skin with rose colored cheeks. An elaborate headdress. And wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see you. Can you get away her. from me? Welcome Can you get away from me? Tower. Thank you. I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. <laughs> oh, Agatha. Good one. <laughs> um, I just have to ask, is that your nose, or are you eating a turnip? <laughs> oh, well, oh, oh. what Humor's a always good. little princess. Humor does not suit us ladies. It would do you well to remember that. 
Now come. It's time to eat. Hum's face. Hey. Hush. What was that? What's everyone feel like for dinner? Pizza. Coffee savory. Sweet, please. After dinner, Agatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. Right. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Nice picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. So right. with competitive. First step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly, or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, Ooh. you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which I like to live. Choose? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I kind of like the one life. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Well, I gotta ask him to leave town and then just leave. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I'd wanna be a dragon with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Good idea. But I'm gonna go with the pet dragon. Or wait. No, I'm Would gonna be the dragon. Would you rather A have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Dragons have tails. So tail. <laughs> okay, Would you rather A constantly reek of syrup and not smell it? Or B, constantly smell reeking syrup. I Ooh. actually like the smell of syrup. Yeah, I'm I'm the fan of that too. So I guess we'll go with, with it. This first we yeah, mix okay. up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both Oscar and Oski answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you uh. getting all this? Oh, I think so. Mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender, and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. Okay. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A. You can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Um, go over here. Let's see here. A. I agree. I would spend yeah. a whole life becoming a master at the skills I have. Graham. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? Oh. I would give him a coin myself, but that's just me. Right. B, I turn. the orphan needs that money more than the merchant does. Hmm, I chose oh. A. I figured that honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Okay. 
program. You have been hunting for your starving family all day and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you, A, kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner? Or B, let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard? I'm hungry now. Hey, I wouldn't give up a bird in my hand for a wild goose chase. Sorry, B. Magic beans! You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Gotta go right this time. I pick A. I agree. There Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed. But I couldn't imprison a friend. Niece? It says, You are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A. Heal the knight first, or B. Heal the thief first? I picked A. The Honorable Knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. B. Yep. I would oh, honor my one. medical oath to serve those in need first. They're so polar opposites. How can they play this game? V. Oh, this is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king sends for your hand in marriage. Okay. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Is there any other answer than B? Of course, I chose the same. <laughs> Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? Uh, let's go over here. A. Definitely A. Uh, Actually, I'd rather be a dragon. I've faced quite enough pet dragons already. Graham, you're poor and a thief pickpockets your only coin, forcing you to go hungry for the night. A few days later, you see the same thief get robbed of his dinner by two bandits. You chase after the bandits and get back the stolen food. Do you A, return the food to the thief, or B, keep the food, teaching the thief a lesson? I give it back to him. I'd return the food. Hopefully a good example would turn the thief around. Oh. Actually, I'd eat the food. You said I was poor oh and hungry, right? That thief will be fine for one night without dinner. Hopefully he won't steal again. Bram? Your best friend is planning to marry the love of their life on the day of the wedding. You discover that their fiancé is a gremlin, using a magic spell to disguise themselves as a human. The gremlin assures you it loves your friend and begs you to keep their secret. Do you A, tell your friend anyway, or B, keep their secret? I tell him. <laughs> I'm Drew Carey. <laughs> I tell him. A, oh, X. if they're truly in love, it shouldn't matter. No. B, I wouldn't want to ruin their special day. Well, Would you rather A, all get to zero. have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Let's go left. B. Oh. Well, actually, I picked A. I need these hands for adventuring. Graham, you have a job you love as the Royal Love Doctor. 
But during an appointment, your best friend's husband admits to you that he's in love with another woman. Do you A, break the confidentiality policy and tell your friend, potentially getting fired, or B, advise the man to go back to his wife and hope your friend does not find out that you knew he had eyes for another? Ooh. Now, at this point, it's more, what do you think she chose more than what I want? I mean, I want to be honest, but you can't be honest in both these scenarios. Totally. So I'll go B. B. If he's coming to me for help, he deserves to be forgiven. Actually, I picked A. Oh, my I goodness. I to be told. <clears throat> V. Bravery and boldness are the only important qualities for a hero to have. A. True or B. False. B. B. False. For certain. A good leader is well rounded. Mm, Grey minds think alike. Oh, they're actually getting some stuff right. Would you rather A. Constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B. Constantly smell reeking syrup? Gotta go left. Gotta choose my wife. Is there any question? A. Actually, I picked B. I would never be able to go out in public if I smelled like that. I lost the game, but was happy to see the bond that Nice and V shared. When the sun went down, her hair turned frigid. Lost. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin, and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. How did they get up there? Oh, so with what the do you stairs think of King Graham the Brave? I'm not sure about him yet. What do you think? I'm not sure yet either. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. I wasn't ready for bed yet. Yeah, okay. Anything to explore? Anything? Anything to see? This puzzle box busted in the fall and could use some fixing. Yeah, it'd be fun to fix. <laughs> I enjoy projects. It was cold at the top of that tower. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes, and I didn't see any chocolate chips. Good point. Okay, hello, Force Field. <laughs> I feel like I can just run it. Ow. <laughs> like just running into it. Shame. And there's it looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. Oh, so I could like choose one to fix. Okay. Not sleepy yet? I explored more. Oh, you want me to do more? Okay. Oh, I go down. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come and rescue her. Oh. So, oh, I do miss her. So it's either a friend years, and no or that's old her. Off to a happy ending. Hmm. Let's look at the mirror and double check. The enchanted canvas. Yeah, it shows a younger portrait of whatever stood in front of it. Okay. So yeah, it was the years of appearance herself. changing potions. Eventually took their toll and backfired, turning the princess into a soggy hag with a flappy tail. Yep. But the potion could be reversed, right? Maybe. She could lose the tail, and and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. No. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. Well, that's your that's your mistake. That was all your fault. So we're here. Looks like it. Come on, how do I get better? Oh, come on. How do I 
I'll get back up. Come on. Unless there's something else I need to explore. Maybe it's over here. No. Do I have to grab it? There's a clock. Bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. Oh, so I can turn the time on the clock. Did I seriously just get it right already? Must be morning. Yeah, let's try that. Did that work? No. Maybe I needed something. Is there something she left? Anything the enchanted too? canvas painted yep. a young I know. That seemed to be missing a piece. Or maybe I can just grab it. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Agatha never left the town, so she would send the princesses on her errands. They would fetch this ingredient or that trinket she used a special enchantment to poof them out of the tower and after some time, poof, them back in. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. I agree. Los Charcistra. Don't deal with magic, kids. Unless it's a card game. It's Magic the Gathering. That's an exception. I would hold off on flashing that ring again. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. I kind of met a little bit about each girl, and maybe I'll pick who. I'm leaning towards the one on the left. I forgot her name, but we'll we'll see what happens.